Hi guys, this is David Coleman from WP Mirror. Today we're going to look at a new WordPress content builder called Setka Editor. Let's check out Setka's website. You can design, engage, and convert your customers. As you can see, they put a premium on beautiful design. And they have a preview video here, which we'll check out for a few seconds. plugin for beautiful content developed by media and content experts and there's some testimonials and they have a help center getting started style manager post editor counts custom integration and support they have a little live demo that you can access hit the quick tour button and you can actually play around with this here's the post styles the grid system your content area, your settings panel for formatting elements, animation, this is your elements toolbar, they have keyboard shortcuts, a preview button with the click of a button, and let's look at pricing. $8.25 a month for the basic plan, $16.50 for the pro. They're coming up with a pro team plan and they have other options including choosing a bundle here's a plan comparison between the basic and pro frequently asked questions here they have a little history about their company blogs this blog right here is helpful for advice on how to use the plugin let's look at setting up Setka editor go to plugin add new Upload plugin if you've downloaded it. Find the Setka Editor zip, choose, click the Install Now button, and go ahead and activate it. The plugin works through Setka's site, so you'll need to activate a license key. Fill out some information, including a password. And once you do that, they'll send you an email with the license key. Registration completed. We sent you an email. Here we go in my email. Copy the license key. Go back to WordPress and paste it in. And now you're connected with their website. Now in the settings tab, you'll be selecting the post types and user roles that will be using Setka Editor. Go to Post Add New to start using the plugin. And make sure you click the Setka Editor tab here. And they have a quick tour when you first begin. Post styles. Grid systems for laying out all your content. Your post content area where you manipulate your elements. Of course they have a settings panel for formatting your elements. And they do animation including direction, zoom, rotation, opacity. Post elements for adding to your content area. They have keyboard shortcuts. And previewing at the click of a button. And so let's get started. So let's check out the major components of Setka Editor. The first component is your post styles. The second one is your grid system. So post styles, create new post styles. You'll go to the Setka site where you'll have to log in. They'll have a setup where you can get your license key. The post styles where you create all the different post styles and the grid systems for laying out your content. So let's go into the post styles area. We've got one we've already created. You get one for the free version. And you can name your style. You can create styles for desktop, tablet, or mobile. So let's go ahead and change the name there. 
We can choose our fonts, our font family, and the size. Now everything we change here is shown to, at the right in real time, the changes. So let's kick up the size to 68 pixels. And so we got small headers, we got different headers that we can change. If you want to add a new one, you do it here. Links, including the colors for the links. Background colors, you can add as many as you wish. Now all of this will be pertinent to your post. And it can help you brand the style you have. You can do image captions, dividers, icons with a premium version of the plugin. Save your style. And there you go, there it is. For the grid systems, Setka uses a modular column grid, and you can create as many columns as you want and as many grid systems as you want. You choose your base columns, your gutter, automatic column width, limited column width. So this structures how your content is laid out. Determine horizontal margins, as you can see here. Click Save. Now let's go back to our WordPress site. Here's the styles. There's our new one. You can create more styles. The grid systems. All the different grid systems that were saved. If it's not the same, you'll overwrite. Now you can type or paste in content here. Let's talk about creating content with Setka Editor. Go to your post. These are the elements that can be added to the post area. Let's paste in a bunch of content about lighthouses. You can view your content in different post widths. You can click and preview the content. Let's close that up. Now let's check out adding grid modules to Setka Editor. Setka Editor works on a paragraph block basis. And let's select different paragraphs by holding down Command click on the Mac and click the icon to add grids because we have a six column grid system. It gives us options for that. Now we can add the selection to a single grid or create a new grid, but I don't want to do that. I just want to add this option right here to all of the paragraphs. The plus and minus indicators help you expand and contract the columns. That's how you have the flexibility with your layout. So as you can see, each one of these paragraphs has their own plus and minuses. Let's add images with Setka Editor. Let's click the Add Image icon and let's select all these and load them all up. So we have the paragraph selected and we can add that image into it. You can do image captions, night shot of a beautiful lighthouse. We can move down and click this minus to open up the column for the text. And then you can change the different columns for a paragraph. You can add that image there, select the paragraph, add another image. Change the layout with the click of a button. It's that easy. Now as you can see, I'm just pretty much playing around, but when you set up your post styles in your grid systems, you'll want to take into account what kind of structure and what kind of brand you want to emphasize to your visitors. So anyways, as you can see, very easy to change the layout of your content. Let's add another image there. Close up that column. Widen it out to use all six columns. Let's get rid of that tag, so let's paste it over here. And let's select that paragraph and add that image. Select all this text. And we can add a grid back to it. 
So we have another grid module on that paragraph. And look at that, we added another image below it. So here we're previewing our content. Let's go back. Let's put in a headline, hit return. It's its own paragraph. We can format it with large text. Let's add another headline. Format it with large text. You can see how quick this is to create content. Again, I'm just playing around. Definitely you'll want to think about all your header sizes and whatnot. So let's go back to post styles and let's add a new format called quotes. Seeing how we have some text that are quotes about lighthouses. And you can see as we change the attributes, it updates here on the right. Let's click save on that. Let's go back to our post, select the paragraph, and format that with our quote and italicize it. Missed a little bit here. Let's select that, format it with our quote text, italicize it. Of course, I could have italicized it when I was creating the post style. You can see how quick this is, and with a little bit of pre-planning, you would, of course, have the right styles for each font that you would want to use for your content. So let's finish this up, italicize that, update it. Let's take a look. Scroll down. Now we can see both the desktop and the mobile version when we preview these. Let's add a little bit of color, white type, gray background. Another gray background, not the prettiest look in the world, but you get the idea. Again, we can have as many colors for our backgrounds as we want. And let's change the, let's get away from the edge on these a little bit here. Different header sizes. back to white on that background. Let's check out animation with Setka Editor. Now you can animate grids, images, text. We'll shift the selected image over 200 pixels. And after a one second delay, it'll move on screen as, we, as it appears on screen. So we can test it, see what it looks like before we even apply it. Let's click another paragraph, add some animation. Let's have it come in from the left side of the screen. After one second delay, test it. Looks good, apply it. I love how easy it is to create some decent looking animations here. Actually, these are very nice. And 200 pixels coming in from the right again. And so we're setting up several animations for our images here. And then we can take a look at it. Uh, let's reload the page and let's try that again so we can get maybe a better look at it. So as you can see, as they come into view, they animate on the screen. Pretty neat. I mean, it's pretty dynamic and uh, very, very simple without having to touch any code. Now let's embed a video. Let's get rid of our image here. And we need to get some embed code. Let's go to YouTube, click the share button, grab this embed code, just copy it, go back. And let's click the embed icon and we can paste it in there. And when we click render, we can see what the video looks like. Unrender, we get the code back. 
you can adjust the width and the height. So when we go full width, it takes up the full column. So it's that easy to add video to your content. And you can animate the video on as well, same as we did with the images. Again, you see both the mobile and the desktop previews at the same time. Let's close that up. Let's talk about snippets. Snippets are reusable design elements. So let's say we want to reuse these on different posts. And we click that and click the Add Snippet icon, give it a name. We'll call it Leader. Click Save. And now we can add that on any post we want. So let's flatten that. And we click Leader there, and there it is. So let's wrap this up by looking at the Elements toolbar. So we have the Preview Post, Add Grid, Add Snippet, Add Image. We have Add Icons, and you can upgrade your icons. Embed, Add Image Gallery, Add Dividers, and Show Keyboard Shortcuts. So that's it for Setka Editor. It's really an impressive plugin that lets you create beautiful, engaging content very quickly. Thanks for watching, guys. For WP Mayor, I'm David Coleman.